Hello my friends, Bruce here. So here we have a really really old yard machines. It's been in before and I don't know why it comes back. I've tested everything on this thing. Today I even tested it. Uh, I let it run for 15 minutes and then I turned it off and let it cool for a minute and then restarted it because that's sometimes the sign of a bad coil where it heats up and goes open electrically. But look at this. 2001 was when it was made and it just runs like a champ. It's hot right now so I'll just show you how well it starts when it's hot. We'll just do a quick one. RPMs are pretty good. So I'm just going to drop the oil in this thing right now. And then go for lunch. Lunch time. Alright. Thank you, Mrs. Panda. Oops, Mrs. P. <clears throat> Perfect. Let's just put a jack on it. Safety first. In my case, it's probably safety last. But anyway, we'll just jack that up and we'll get the oil out of it. And uh, right after that, we'll do the blade. I know that's backwards, but that's all right. While the oil's nice and hot, I want to get that out of there. How's the blade? You know what? The blade does not need to be sharpened. The strangest thing. And I'll tell you what I, my theory on this lawnmower is. Good. Okay, my theory on this lawnmower is that the people who use it don't understand lawnmowers. And usually the primer bulb is red. It looks like an old beater. They're intimidated by it. But I don't, if that was red, people would probably try and push that to make it start. So I'm going to put a note up here somewhere. Pr push primer five times. There's nothing wrong with doing it five times. The book says three, but I'll see all the stickers are gone too. It's probably been power washed more than you can shake a stick at. I have worked on this mower before. In fact, like I said, the blade looks brand new, but there is, there, there, I did get some straw out of the back door, and I will continue on with that when, uh, when I have lunch. Thanks a lot. Look at that. Chicken salad sandwich with a nice glass of water. It is, what, what is the temperature today? Inside the shop, 20 degrees and outside the shop is 27 so let's just let that drain okay all right my friends let's have a look at the blade good oh I never spilt a drop isn't that cool okay you, you guys are gonna be the judge would you put would you, I don't think that's worth sharpening that blade. Let's just unplug the spark plug. Turn it over. No, that blade is not worth sharpening. It's nice, because it runs real smooth too. So at one point in its life I must have balanced that blade. Let's get rid of this. things we don't have to do.
some oil in it right now. Five hundred milliliters of ten thirty. These are half full. Okay, so that's oil change, blade checked. Let's just check the spark plug, but I'm going to... Yep, yeah, i got to do one thing. I'll be right back. You don't have to go anywhere. Spark plug check. Looks great. I'm just going to buff it up on the on the wire brush. I always take a little wire pick after I use a wire brush and I make sure there's nothing stuck in there like that. the air filter and we're looking good and I bet you it's okay and I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit yeah that's good I'm gonna watch this though I bet you it's see it's been used that's good An older filter, but it's okay. I'm just going to wipe her down. All right. Now, first, I'm going to scratch this up. Now, where are we? I think we're done. I'm just going to just uh, oil the wheel. is off right down there this spring right here I'd like it to come back to here if I can It has kind of a notch. Oh, it's broken. 
No, it's not. Come on. Almost. No. <laughs> okay. No, nope, that's just going to have to stay that way. Okay, let's get some gas. And I'm just going to wipe this guy down. I'll be right back. There, a nice quick tune-up. I didn't have to sharpen the blade. Thanks for watching this one, guys.